TVC News, Kaduna. River State now, where the Court of Appeal in Port Harcourt has set aside the judgment of the Federal High Court, which delisted all candidates of the All Progressives Congress in River State from the ballot for the 2023 general election. Some persons claiming membership of the APC had approached the court to challenge the validity of their emergence as candidates in a suit that threatened the participation of the party in the forthcoming polls. TVC News senior reporter Ucho Kuru has details. The Court of Appeal declared that the Federal High Court erred in hearing the matter and delivering judgment in the internal affairs of a political party. The aggrieved APC members claimed that they were excluded from participating in the congresses and primaries that produced the candidates. But the League judge Justice Muhammad Lawal Shwaibu said they did not exhaust internal party mechanisms for conflict resolution before approaching the court. The Court of Appeal just set aside that judgment, those jud the judgment of a Federal High Court, saying that the, the, those persons or 400 of them that they claimed we are not members of APC, had no locals because they did not participate in the, in the primaries that uh, 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 brought up the candidates of APC, and that the trial court had no jurisdiction in the first place to entertain an intra-party uh, affair. So the, 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 the judgment was set aside, and the uh, cost of 500,000 naira awarded against them in, two, in the three appeals, so they are owing us 1.5 million naira. <laughs> The 2023 general election promises to be a tough fight for the APC in River State as their campaign activities almost ground to a halt after the Federal High Court judgment. Now, the party is satisfied with this particular victory at the Court of Appeal. You can see that we've not been vigorously campaigning. Um, so, uh, pardon us, now that the courts uh, have, have said that, uh, that we are at liberty to carry on with the internal affairs of the party we will now we will now campaign very vigorously the judgment today throwing away the setting aside that of the federal high court that uh, disqualified us has shown that no one person owns the judiciary that is the impression they have tried to create here and so they've even gone ahead to tell their people to begin to sew uniforms for for celebration that, that no other political party will be on the ballot and it's becoming embarrassing to the judiciary of this country that an individual an individual will want to determine the democratic fate of everybody the outcome of this appeal gives some reprieve to all 50 apc candidates for the election in river state but the coast is not yet clear with the party's standard bearer, Tony Cole. The Court of Appeal is yet to decide on another federal high court judgment that disqualified him on the basis of dual citizenship. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt. Meanwhile, the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Mahmoud Kubu, has asked the National Assembly to pass the resolution classifying INEX buildings nationwide as high security and priority facilities. This, he says, is to further enhance the security and protection of the Commission's structures. Professor Yakubu spoke at an investigative hearing on the incessant attacks on INEX facilities. The Speaker of the House, Femi Bajabiamila, represented by the Chairman of the House Committee on Customs, Leke Abedjide, says the perpetrators of the coordinated attacks should be classified as enemies of the nation. The chairman of the ad hoc committee, Taiwo Luga, called for actionable intelligence among security agencies, but the committee was reportedly taken aback by the submission of the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice that there have been no prosecution of any suspect for the 50 attacks against INEX facilities between 2019 and now. have been destroyed. And sometimes the attacks were even targeted at our own staff, meaning to loss of lives. During the last continuous voter registration exercise, for instance, some staff of the commission were attacked, and one of them unfortunately lost his life in the attack. So sometimes it's not just physical facilities and materials, but also the staff of the commission. We have noticed that most of these attacks most of them have nothing to do with elections or electoral activities by any uh, 
the offices were destroyed nationwide during the protests. Some of the protests have nothing to do with elections. 